How is it going guys, Real F9 here and welcome to the latest first inform 85 rated Kevin Gamero player review Had a really good game against Athletic Club, was substituted in and then you know he was able to score the goal and make way for Atletico Madrid to go on and win the match and prior to that match as well he's been performing really really well and therefore it is a much deserved inform card that he has got and uh, if you look at the card he's got medium medium work rate not the best obviously you know high medium works better but it's not the worst either Three star weak foot, which makes you put him on the right side of the two strikers up front. And then he's got all right skill moves with three stars. And if you look at his stats, he's got amazing pace with 88. He's got good dribbling with 82. Great shooting with 87. All right defending, but that's not the problem. 70 physical, I believe could have been better, but it's all right. And then 80 passing. And if you look further into the car, I mean, it's really, really good, I think. He's got great pace, like I said, with 89 acceleration and 86 sprint speed. Obviously, goes to the 99 with Hunter Camp side on. The shooting itself is phenomenal, I think, with 90 attacking positioning, 90 finishing, 88 shot power. And then, you know, not the best of long shots he's got in real life as well, so that's 79. And he's also got, I think, a great short passing with 84 and also really decent curve with 81. Amazing dribbling on a whole, I think. You know, got really good 85 agility. Really, really, really good reactions with 88. And then also 88 composure, which is beautiful. And not the best of heading accuracy, to be honest. Only 72, but it is what it is. With 86 jumping, which is also good. Not the best of stamina again. 78. Doesn't make him a one-half player, I believe. He can still play two-half without a problem. Not the best of strength with 65. And not the best of aggression with 67. I think that could have been a lot better with the type of physique he has in real life. But that's just how it is. And I will start by saying guys that this car is worth the money that he's going for. When I saw his price at first, you know, around 130k, I was like, that's pretty absurd. But, you know, after using this car, after trying him, and to be able to feel him better, you know, to be able to play a few matches with him, I felt that this car is worth the money that he is. I have tried his base car, you know, it wasn't the greatest. You can notice the difference straight away. There is a lot of drift, you know, a lot of difference to be honest you know he's got a much better shooting much better dribbling and much better physical as well and i will say that guys this car is absolutely amazing you know he's really explosive he's got amazing pace to him he's rapid you know he's just like henrik larsson he hasn't got the best of skill moves you know to be able to create space for self he's got decent enough dribbling and that you know helps him create space and for which his pace is so amazing that he's able to do a lot just by his pace and his I believe agility and balance but as you guys can see if you talk about the strengths first I've mentioned the strengths to be his pace and uh, that is why because I haven't used many cards in this game that you know you have this feeling that they are like blistering quick you know it's like lightning quick and I've used Henrik Larsson and this car and that, that's how these car two you know these two cards felt they felt absolutely quick and uh, that's obviously a great strength because as I always say this game is based on pace and then is another you know strength which i love in this game and in any fifa and that is the movement off the ball and his movement off the ball obviously that is his positioning you know and that is 91 i or i think 90 but that's um, absolutely amazing you know he's he's just so good that his his finishing i mean sorry his positioning is so great he obviously you know on the ball he's you know he's great obviously but off the ball the thing that matters the most is beautiful and with any striker or with, with any offensive player, that's what you need because, you know, they are able to create that space for themselves and obviously gives the opportunity to the other players to go forward and try to attack. And so that that's uh, that's what I love about him. And strength, you know, is only 65. I put a question mark because I have had a lot of one-on-one -on -one with the opening where he was actually able to take the ball away from them and, you know, just keep the ball to himself. So that felt absolutely amazing, you know, and uh, that was great because not many players with 65 strength can, can do that. And uh, I think I was really unlucky with him with the chances, you know. Some of the chances that I have with him, I, I you know, actually missed. But that's not what this review or any review about the reviews are about to show you guys if they're worth the money or how great they are. And I think this card is absolutely great. And I do think his price would fall. But even if it doesn't fall, you should definitely go ahead and buy this card. But that was it for this review, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>